Previously, we explored the small but beautiful town of Loon, Bohol. Now, we're headed down south toward one of Bohol's most popular tourist spots. Hi, I'm Buntag Wonders! Welcome back to the channel. We are here in Bohol. We are currently in Loon. And we are headed down toward Tag Tagloban? Tagbilaran. <laughs> I always get them mixed up. Tagbilaran. We're headed down toward Tagbilaran right now. Our actual adventure for this video isn't in Tagbilaran, but we've got to, we have to go there to get to the correct highway. Uh, we still got a long drive, so we'll just catch up with you there. Let's go. I'm Cody. And I'm Izai. We're a Filipino-American couple. Who actually met on Tinder during my first time in the Philippines all the way back in 2017. Since 2020, we've been living together on the island of Cebu with our 10 cats, hunting down hidden spots and beautiful hotels on the weekend. But after two years of showing you nothing but Cebu, we think it's finally time for something new. Starting with the beautiful island of Bohol. We made it to Tagbilaran. We just stopped in this Tagbilaran, right? Yeah, I got it. Not Tagloban. Yeah. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> we made it to Tagbilaran. We just stopped in this first 7-Eleven. We saw refilled water, got some snacks, put more sunscreen because, dude, I've, I swear the sun in Bohol is somehow hotter than in Cebu. I mean, I know that's not possible, but it really feels like it. Now, We've just got one little shortcut to take over to another highway and then we're on to our first, well not our first stop, but the first bigger stop of the day. We stopped by at 7-Eleven to reapply sunblock because it's so hot and then it started raining on us. We're here at another Tarzir Sanctuary, not the famous one, but people, some people like this one more, but we don't know if it's open. I don't see many people here, but we're gonna head down here and see what we find. Hopefully it's open. If not, hopefully the Tarzirs are okay. Buddy, we don't have any food, I'm sorry. All right, we're here at the Tarzir Sanctuary in Corelia. I think it's how you say the name of this town. Uh, this was a pretty popular spot before. And I don't see anybody here. And it looks like it was just destroyed by the typhoon. This might not be open. Of course, we're going to actually walk up there and see. But this one might be a bust. Crap, dude. This looks destroyed. <laughs> Yeah, this looks, come on, no way. Dang. Makes me wonder about the other one, the man-made forest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing. Oh, my thunder. Should be like here. Yeah. Well, all right. That was a long drive for nothing. I mean, our next spot is still further down this same road, but man. 
feel bad for that doggy. It doesn't look like anyone's coming here. Yeah, that poor puppy. We norm we have dog food back at our hotel, but we didn't bring it because all our stuff is pretty packed. We didn't really have room. I feel bad for him. And I don't know. I hope if anyone knows anything about what's happening here right now, let us know. I wonder how the Tarsiers are. Like what happened? Nobody's here. Buddy. We had leftover chicken. We gave this to a dog like an hour ago. Yeah. Who maybe didn't need it as much as this one. I don't know. We have nothing to give him. Bud. Oh, he's so cute. All right. We move on to the next spot. We drove like one kilometer and it started raining. Today is not going as planned at all right now. And the next spot, if it still exists, I want to fly the drone, but I'm not going to be able to in this. The sucky thing is I tried to check all these spots before we left, but it's just hard because not everything has like an update on a Facebook page or something. And then when I try to find videos or Instagram posts that are recent, to see what it's like it's actually it can be hard to trust because you don't know when that video or post was taken so all of this stuff that we've tried to visit i found things that gave me enough evidence to feel like it was open but so far obviously two of them haven't been i'm worried about this next one Isai doesn't know what it is yet but it's uh i would say easily destroyed mm -hmm. so i'm a little worried We'll see whenever this rain lightens up. You know it? Two point seven kilometers. Let's see if it's open. <laughs> Straight ahead, meaning in there? No, I don't. Oh, it's a little confusing. Dun, da, da, da. It looks open, his eye. Holy crap, we found something open. So, after we got fried by the sun and got rained on, we arrived here at Tikapuna's mirror of the world and this is both our first time coming here this is pretty new actually yeah it is i remember seeing pictures of it well a couple years ago it's new but it's like a couple years yeah um oh i, I overheard someone says that there's still a lot of stuff that are not done yet oh really so, let's just see in the next action-packed episode we travel the world in one day you won't want to miss it in fact you can actually click over to it now from your screen. Keep wondering. <laughs>